Hello everyone, today we're opening a package from Japan. I do like the way the Japanese do business. Dear delivery person, thank you for the delivery. This is a package to an important person who is looking forward to its arrival. That is true. Please take care, take extra care when handling the parcel. That's really neat. So Plaza Japan, I order about once a year from them. The, uh, the Kado parts catalog is still offline, but you can still get parts for Japanese engines from, uh, from Plaza Japan. So you, they got these little really neat uh, Japanese newspapers. The, the shipping cost is not too bad. Um, really, I got nailed with some uh, duties from the Canadian government. I had to pay as much money for the duty as I had to pay for this power pack. This is what I wanted to show you guys today. There's more stuff in there, but I want to focus on this power pack for now. Good news, good news. I just went online. The Kado USA parts catalog is back online. And uh, so you can pick up some parts if you need them. Also, if you want to help me make more videos, you can go to my website watchtrainsnow.com and do a click on a couple of pages it's going to help me tremendously to make more videos this was a product that was suggested to me by a subscriber um, i had no power but i could still run trains so i made this video called uh, no power no problem you can go back and look at that where i could run trains with a nine volt battery but with, uh, I'm gonna just cut this thing here. With a power pack like this, it's a Rokuhan RC03. With a power pack like this, this you have the option of running the power pack with just batteries or with a power uh, power converter. So this is the option that I wanted. I wanted to run just uh, with batteries. So there's that power pack. And keeping the box, keeping the box for storage, because I got a bunch of really good power packs. But this is gonna come in handy. There's instructions in Japanese. Uh, I don't know how to read that, so uh, I don't speak Japanese, but I speak uh, model railroad. So I guess the batteries go there. You have to push this pin down, and then it will allow you to uh, open up the battery drawer. Then you have to put the eight double A's. There is a really good video uh, that you can watch and um, has all basically all the instructions. So this, there's where the output wire goes, accessories if you want, switch two and switch one, and you get the controller for the switches included in the power pack. I thought that was really, really cool. I'm not opposed to get a couple of these uh, Z-scale switches sometime. Yeah, of course, you better make sure you have plenty of AA batteries uh, before you, uh, before your, uh, oh, there you go, power on. Before your power runs out. And here's the little cable that hooks up to the track. So I guess uh, this I paid about $50 Canadian, like I said, the uh, Canadian government uh, hit me with some duties, so I had to pay another 50 bucks. Well, it's $50 for the whole box. I'll show you, I bought a whole bunch more stuff at the same time, but this is really what I wanted to show you guys today. So this is set up for, uh, for Z-scale track on the one end and the other end goes straight to the power pack. I'm going to be using it for uh, end scale. I think it's got tons of power for end scale, but we're going to find out. So this just slips in like that. Easy breezy, Japanesey. And then I think I'm going to hook this up. I got some jumper cables close by. You can
can never have too many jumper cables. So I got my jumper cables, which I'm gonna hook up this way. I picked uh, yellow and green, I could have picked uh, black and red, but I think yellow and green is gonna be fine for what I'm doing today. Yeah, be careful not to hook up on both both of the little copper pins, that would be bad. Okay, so let's go uh, on the track and see what happens. What I did there is very crude, but it will still uh, help me test this out. Oh, I'm kind of in neutral here. Well, I got it to work. It sort of, sort of surges very strongly. So I haven't figured it out 100%, but it's gonna allow me to run trains uh, when there's no power. So that's a win. So definitely I'm saving this for a rainy day when I have no power. I mean, let's face it, October and November and December are coming around and we might get some more freezing rain and stuff. Who knows what? Let's see what else I got. I was, uh, since I was flipping through the Z-scale stuff, I was able to find this. Incidentally, I saw a super cool video about Z-scale focused on Marklin but uh, really interesting so be careful when you buy stuff from Japan uh, I'm going to tell you how much this costs so this cost uh, $17 Canadian so about 15 US uh, when you go on the Japanese websites and you find engines that are incredibly cheap it's because it's just a shell that you're buying. There's no drive or no wheels, nothing. So um, you have to buy your drive or you can have wheels, uh, just the wheels set up, sold separately. And these are it. This is a little drive system. So that, this is not top quality here. This is um, about uh, $14 Canadian. So uh, really cheap, but it's not uh, top quality either. It's not an eight wheel drive. It's only got one side that has power. So uh, I'm gonna put that together. I bought two um, of the power units because I need the pulling power because I'm gonna long run trains eventually. So even tells you you have to buy the shell separately. That, you know, it could be good. You could use the packaging is reusable, just a little piece of tape here sealing it, so you can reuse this package. So I guess uh, this is a kind of a good system. You can keep the drive system and um, you just the uh, change the shell for variety, you don't have to buy one drive system per shell so that could be a way to save money oh, on the top too there's a little bit of tape on the top i didn't see that that is good to know so these maybe they've been sitting on the shallow uh, shelf for a while that is small Look at that. And uh, Marklin, they have a different system for couplers. This is exactly like an end scale coupler, um, but smaller. Marklin, they have their own system, I guess. And then Microtrains has a different system altogether. So you gotta pay attention and choose what you want. 
as you scale is not necessarily a money saver even though I got this uh, starter set type of, uh, of items I got this starter set type of items they are pretty cheap these I guess they come with a draw bar also if you want to draw, draw bar them together I'm not gonna worry too much about that so this is just a shell yeah New York Central I couldn't resist I mean, they got some really, really neat uh, Japanese prototype stuff. Let's see, what did I find that was kind of neat? Oh, yeah, this is a good summary of what an F7 is. It was produced from 4953. It's a diesel electric locomotive and was commercially successful. That, you know, sums it pretty much up in two phrases. Very concise and very true. And the, uh, there's not too many of them running still. They wore them out. So yeah, two little draw bars there. I'm going to keep them. Here's the shell. Like I said before, this is not an incredibly precise model. It's more meant to be very cute. Oh, I like those two little horns though. That is still good detail. I'm going to Put them under magnification. Maybe they're just molded in. Yeah, you see, it's not a very precise model because you have the horns, the horns, and then the uh, dynamic brake, and then two fans. You should have three fans, and there should be room back here for a steam generator. So, like I said, it's very. Uh, oh, maybe this is optional. This part. It's very. Um, so I would basically have to remove the coupler to use this, which I don't think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to keep them like that. And then let's pop this one out. Same thing here, you know, should have uh, three fans here and room for a steam, uh, steam generator. That is not the end of the world. I think I'm going to be able to run them like that. And then you just snap it over here. And then we should theoretically be ready to go. If only I had some track, we could test them out. Just wanted to show you the difference between Z scale and N scale. N scale looks ginormous next to it. Look at that. Look what I found. So now uh, I can put this together and maybe we can run some trains. That's right, you can't run some trains without track. And this little staple up here. So, um, this brand is not, I don't think it's compatible with the um, Marklin. It does look, however, to be a very good quality, uh, similar quality. I don't know anybody watching these videos or diehard Z scalers. What is the best quality for Z scale? These were very reasonably priced, although the track wasn't exactly cheap. But. Uh, It's still gonna be neat. The uh, the Z scale for me is like a side 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 project. I'm having a good time playing with playing with it today, but it won't be. Um, these probably won't be going back in their boxes because um, joining and unjoining tracks is. Uh, not too good for the joiners so i'll be careful not to uh not to abuse it i'm just hoping i can find some uh some feeder track in there 
it's not looking good. I have to make something for a feeder on these. Well, it looks like maybe these two pins are meant to be a feeder. I have to investigate that a little bit. Maybe that's what it's meant to be. Yes, they all pretty much, pretty much all look the same. I don't think there's a particularly, uh, particular feeder track place. Thank God for YouTube. I, I went on YouTube and I watched a video on this. And uh, didn't even listen to it, just watched it. There's a little section here that's removable. Tiny little section. And then this gizmo uh, goes under here. Look at that. How easy was that? So uh, perfect. So let's just join these together. Yeah, that was awful easy. So these, just like any other track, they'll snap together and that's that. Pretty easy. You still have to be careful to line them up correctly, but... This seems to be the way to do it. So that went together pretty easy. So uh, they suggest getting a re-railer track, but I think I can handle it. So first thing that I'd like to do is uh, see if they're pretty close to being speed match. So let me just put some power on there. Actually, I can tell this one's out of the track. Looks like they're pretty close. Look at that. The little B unit seems to be a little faster. Let's try that again. Yeah, the B unit is a little faster. It would help to be uh, on the track together. Actually pretty close in speed so they're gonna match just like that I got a, a Z scale layout it's just like Christmas morning so the track cost me 27 Canadian and the power pack was 54 Canadian so roughly say a hundred bucks Canadian for a, a Z scale starter set actually really nice I'm really glad I got this and I don't know if you can notice but the uh, engines are also very quiet let's see what else did I get I got some replacement replacement parts these are uh, rear trucks for a steam engine so I kind of need these. This is the renewal unit for uh, one of my passenger trains. So this is the drive system, the renewal drive system for my little pocket line. Uh, you can see these have a little suspension here. So the Renewal, what it has, it has a suspension. It also has a little bit better motor. So uh, that makes a difference when you're uh, using the train. This is the unit it's gonna go into. This is a set that I recommend. Uh, not only is it cute, it's really good running. So let me just explain how this works. So the locomotive has no motor 
and uh, you can see why there's no motor it's really small but it's free rolling and then the motor is in the second passenger car so that I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna keep the old drive nevertheless it still is good but I'm gonna use it for a different type of project this if you have let's say you have a Batman uh, trolley and uh, it stopped working you can use these to re repower your trolley my Batman trolley just happens to run just fine it does have broken gears but uh, it's still it's still allowed to run by the gears I wanted to take my time so as to not break it and then I ended up breaking it. So I think this uh, plastic here is starting to be brittle a little bit. At any rate, this is a highly recommended um, machine. This is the old uh, the old drive, so just 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 goes on top there, and it's held in by the windows just like your uh, good old uh, F units. So I'm gonna take the new one, and I'll put this all together. So first you have to put in the windows. And then this blue section. And then we'll bring it this, uh, this drive system. There's really no direction to this. Everything's interchangeable. So that's ready to go. I'm going to let it dry for a minute. And then this will go back in its box. And then when I find a, a trolley for it, it's going to come in handy. Then I got a bunch more freight cars. So the uh, power unit, the remo newer model power unit, that cost me about 20 bucks Canadian. And these. The two power sets are about $14 Canadian. So we'll start with this one, the two power set there. So these are very uh, Japanese looking. So I'm not gonna use it with my American things, but I like to have uh, a couple of these, uh, these uh, Japanese, Japanese trains just in case I want them. I've got my little steeple cab, which is perfect for running with these. And I'll show you my steeple cab. Yeah, so these are very Japanese looking, but for $14, who can resist that? So they will go with this little uh, steeple cab. And that also is a very good running engine. It has the same drive uh, as this. So these are amazing. Take a look at these freight cars. Like I said before, they're very Japanese looking. They have low rolling resistance. really neat so the steeple cab can pull these no problemo I'm a little bit of a Cado fan there so I buy a lot of Cado stuff this one is Tomix you know, the last engine I did was Microwaves Microwaves actually made the grade there I like that engine 
It's fantastic. So I would buy some more microwave stuff, no problem. Tomix is the other uh, brand from Japan. And I've had some of their stuff before, uh, it was good. We'll just see what that uh, freight car is like. So these were new old stock. Probably they put them on sale because they, they've owned them for a while and it was time for them to go. Well, the Thomas box is great though. No complaints there. Everything well protected. Good detail underneath. Rapido couplers. The rolling resistance test passed with flying colors. So this one was seven bucks, which I thought was a good deal. I just jumped on it. But like I said, probably new old stock. It needed to go. So if you go on the website Plaza Japan, you may find a lot of stuff there that is uh, out of stock. That's because I bought it. <laughs> And then, uh, just like every country, they're having a problem with manufacturing. Uh, there's not too, too uh, they're having problems finding components. So yeah, these sets, they were about um, $14 each. So more, just more Japanese uh, themed freight car to go with my steeple cab. Show you the detail. So that's really neat. Rolling resistance test passed. So that's cool. That's gonna make a long train for my steeple cap. I bet you can pull it all though. Covered, uh, covered hopper. Decent detail, Kato made in Japan. Rolling resistance test passed, and I bought one more little thing. It's a building. It's a, it's a cardboard building actually. Now I've seen these put together, and once they're put together, they look great. I paid about twenty dollars Canadian. And uh, I'm, I don't know when I'm going to build this. It's probably going to sit on the shelf for, for a while. I hate doing buildings. But like for $20, uh, I decided to get it. I'm going to use this as a diorama with forced perspective to show off uh, my die cast, my 164 die cast. But I can also use it on my model railroad, which is really neat. Also, I like the way they screwed up the name. That way um, they didn't have to pay royalties. So when you make the building, you can unscramble the letters. So that I thought also was really cool and a neat little thing. Made me laugh, so I bought it. Let's find out if the steeple cab can pull all of these. And now it's time to run some trains. This renewal model is excellent, even though uh, the drive it replaces was also very good. The steeple cab can pull all that with ease. Are you surprised really? I don't think I'm going to put, be putting that up on sale uh, on my website. I think I'm going to keep that one. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.